When it comes to worms, they're beneficial for our home gardens or at farms. But a newer invasive species is raising concerns for our forests and our protected green spaces. If you're out for a walk or going fishing, earthworms, synonymous with both, most are slow moving, may be slimy. Well, now there's a new species in the province. It's very much unlike any other earthworm movement you've seen. Colin Casson at the Invasive Species Centre is certainly right about that. He's one of those on the lookout for Asian jumping worms. Captured on video, these species known for the ability to thrash around. They are quite um, energetic, I guess, for earthworms. And so we do see kind of behavioral changes that would distinguish those from other earthworms. Two concerns front of mind for him, the volume of worms that can develop and how these move around, a potential hazard for forests and certain protected green spaces. They can move that organic layer, layer from the top of the forest soil down into the bottom where normally there wouldn't be that organic content. Uh, you know, bigger picture too, that has implications for what species of plants can grow in our forests. Native species of plants, including trilliums, possibly affected. An Ontario government spokesperson tells City News the worms are in many U.S. states, but in 2014, there were two sightings in Essex County. Last year, two experts reported spotting the worms in Toronto, Dundas, and Wheatley. At this point, staff doesn't have any specific initiatives, but we are aware of it. Um, we'll be consulting with the CFIA. Robin Pollard at the City of Hamilton says staff are still learning about the species as the worms were found in Dundas a short time ago. Nothing planned to address it yet. If history tells us anything, it will be education-based um, to make sure that you know, the public is aware of all of the recommendations that we can put forward. You know, the best tool in our toolbox in terms of preventing um, invasive earthworm spread is really about prevention. That is the best tool we can do. Kasson has these tips to keep in mind. Avoid moving compost and soil from gardens out of the community. Inspect plants and soil for worms. Report sighting since authorities are still gathering information. And most worms in Ontario are invasive, so if you're fishing with worms, dispose leftover ones in the garbage or in your garden. Don't leave worms in forests or protected green spaces. For more resources and information on how to report sightings, go to citynews.ca. In Toronto for City News, I'm Nick Westall.